Everybody is talking about The Last of Us. Again. The first episode of HBO's The Last of Us TV series aired over the weekend, so get ready for a long winter of discourse because it looks like the new show is setting itself up to be a prime example of why Hollywood producers, directors, and writers should actually take video game source material way more seriously. As reported by Deadline, the series has already become the second largest HBO debut since 2010, with 4.7 million viewers. In a joint statement, showrunner Craig Mazin and Naughty Dog creative director Neil Druckmann said, Our focus was simply to make the best possible adaptation of this beloved story for as big an audience as we could. They added that they are overjoyed to see how many fans, both old and new, have welcomed The Last of Us into their homes and their hearts. On Rotten Tomatoes, The Last of Us is sitting pretty at a 99%, with an average audience score of 96%. That's a new record as far as video game adaptations go on the site. The Netflix Witcher series is the next closest, which scored a 95 during Season 2, but has an overall score of 81. Critics of The Last of Us have already seen the full season of the show, so the user's score could go down as more episodes come out, but that's not too shabby. The show is so popular, even the companion podcast, which I think recently has featured Neil Druckmann and Troy Baker, the original voice of Joel. That podcast is already topping Apple's TV and film charts in the US. Now many have attributed the show's success to its absolute adoration and respect for the source material. As the Washington Post's Gene Park points out, the nine episodes follow the exact same story beats in almost the same locations as the original game too. People who know the game by heart will likely be able to recite some lines right as they're being spoken in the show. However, Park goes on to add, it actually might be a little more than that, saying, Because The Last of Us was already structured and written like a TV show, HBO's rendition is primed to work. And it does. It treats most of the key scenes well, with doting respect. In some ways, the story is better for it. Thanks to more granular insight into the lives of certain characters, they feel less like characters in a side quest in a game. Now, to be fair, The Last of Us doesn't really have side quests, but I think you get it. Park was not the only critic to say that some parts of The Last of Us show were actually done better than they were originally in the game. For example, John Walker over on Kotaku wrote an opinion piece about how he enjoyed the opening to the show more than the intro to the game. I don't know if I agree, but I can certainly see where a lot of critics are coming from when it comes to extra bits of worlds and character development we are getting now since we can deviate from the player characters. However, there is one standout aspect of the show that doesn't follow the source material so faithfully. If you caught it like I did, the show has completely omitted navigating the threat of breathing in spores. There's a part where we see Joel and Tess access a secret entrance to a building using a dark and damp tunnel, but without gas masks. Well, that's because the showrunners decided to omit spores altogether as a narrative device. Shout out to A Can Pretend on Twitter who shared this Collider interview with me where Druckmann addressed the issue saying, in the show with the more recently infected, we had a lot of conversation about what that vector could look like because there are certain things from the game that we took away. The game had spores in the air and people had to wear gas masks. And we decided early on that we didn't want to do that for the show. In the interview, Craig Mazin added that all the changes they made for the show were guided by a principle to make sure that everything in the story ultimately feeds back into the thing that matters the most, and that is Joel and Ellie's relationship. So it's pretty cool to have a video game story so faithfully represented with a highly budgeted television series, but if you're feeling Last of Us fatigue, buckle up because we've got eight more episodes to go and millions of people who have no idea what they signed up for by starting to watch this series. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching and for more video game news and updates, stay tuned right here to Inside Gaming.